Hey, day walkers and fellow travelers of the night. We are back with yet another Moon Knight box that we're going to try to open very quickly. Obviously, you've seen me go through these cards already, but we got a couple extra boxes because they were marked down recently over at Steel City. So if you want to pick up any cool cards from them, whether it's Marvel, sports, anything related like that, any trading card needs or sports memorabilia, check them out. I'm going to put a link down below. Awesome, awesome guys. They've been really great. And they helped us. We're going to get some boxes of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness next week. But for now, I figured, you know, I'm still itching to open cards. And we had the Star Wars ones recently, and now this has become an addiction. I officially feel like it's an addiction. But I'm admitting to it, and I will seek help as soon as I'm done, you know, scratching this itch. <laughs> um, but I know Blue has been very excited too. So I have one other box for him he's going to open. This is the one we're going to open today. And these will be our last Moon Knight boxes. So thank you so much for watching this again. And I have Blue. He's just going to record his footage of him opening it. Um, and hopefully he gets a really cool card in his box as well. And uh, and I'll use that footage, you know, and I'll splice it in at the last minute. I'm almost done with our review. I've been editing that one, our full review of this set. So you'll see that video soon as well, finally. Um, and then also the review of the show itself, where I'm going each episode and I'm breaking it into two parts. So we have part one of episode one coming out very soon also. So a lot of Moon Knight content coming up, Doctor Strange content coming up. I'm sure Venom stuff, when we get the trailer, the teaser and all that, we'll have more of that too. So yeah, not going anywhere on this channel, but I had to take a couple weeks off. I got really, really sick. So did Purple, so did Fade actually. So we were in a bad place. We overdosed on medicine too, because we weren't communicating on how much acetafenamine we were taking. And we just took too much of it and almost really hurt our liver actually. So our stomach just started feeling better. Uh, we had medicine that was purging and flushing a lot of the stuff out of us. So now that it's been a couple days of our recovery, like past the point of the medicine leaving our system, we're starting to feel better now. And it's feeling, it's, it's a good feeling for sure. So I'm sorry for like having no content all month and doing a ton last month in February. So we're gonna try to catch up and get ready for April and have a bunch of stuff coming up in April. So again, we've already gone through all these cards. You don't need to see every single card again. So we're gonna try to go really fast. Oh, look at that. Dang it, I was hoping, you know, I was hoping we had Fist of Vengeance number 20. That's the card I need really badly to complete that set. But alas, it is not meant to be. I feel like we're just never going to complete that set unless we buy it off eBay. So I guess that's what we'll do. All right, so this is the last box of Moon Knight that I'll be opening. So this is a, a little bittersweet, but also probably a lot like where some of you are like, dude, good. Like, I love that you're into this, but we got to move on to other content. And I, I appreciate that, but... This has just been fun to kind of dig into. Whoa, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Re hold on. <laughs> warning, warning. All right. Base card, base card. Oh, okay, wait. Is that? No, oh, okay. Sorry. I, for some reason, I thought that was like a bronze card. Um, all right, but we did get, boom, look at these relics. A sand of our Traveler of the Night, which means there's going to be another Traveler of the Night in this box, a plain one. This is the sand variant. So that means there's gonna be at least one plain one coming up in this box. So cool, so this will be a box with two Travelers of the Night in it, most likely. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, the way the light hit this, it looked bronze for a second, and I was like, wait, why is bronze the third card and not the um, sand parallel? But that's been a long day, guys. So, oh wait, hold on, we got something in here. What is that? Okay, so let's let's go through. Could be a lunar it's a, it's a die cut card so all right layla the beautiful may oh we got a sand ethan all right base card will pull out from the back base card will pull out from the back and then let's turn it oh it's an ass okay it's an acetate no <gasps> Another Conchu autograph, this time on an acetate antiquity. Holy crap. I saw the corner of the autograph and I was like, oh my, because I saw the corner. I was like, oh, it's an acetate. 47 out of 100. Look at that. Dude, we are just Conchu autograph collectors. I cannot believe it. And this is one of the autographs we don't have. Like we have a, a regular autograph, you know, of Conchu and of Amit. 
We have a canvas autograph. We have a lunar autograph. Um, the downside of there is a major ding right there in the card, unfortunately. You could probably see that little ding there. So this will be a keeper. I doubt we'll be able to sell this. And the acetates of the paint and stuff comes right off of these. These cards were, I, I think that the concept was good, but the execution on some of them, like that paint will flicker off really easily. And I've seen some of the other ones that I've had from the first boxes I opened, and they are falling apart, some of them. Um, it's a real shame. So this one I'm going to try to be very careful with, and I don't believe I'll be able to sell this because I'll never be able to say that it's even in excellent condition because if it is, it won't last very long in excellent condition from my personal experience dealing with these cards. But holy cow, I knew I noticed like I noticed something was different in this pack. Like there was a little gap there, but the way it was, I thought it was cut different. And then I was like, oh, it's just an acetate. See, look, already a piece flickered off over here. See, now you can see it's not a, a straight edge anymore. So yeah, and then there's some scraping over here on this side. And I don't know if that's from putting it in the, the sleeve or not, or, or tapping it or what, or maybe it was there and it's just, you know, when my fingers touched it, it came off a little bit, but so yeah, this will be one we just keep, but that's okay. This is a good looking card. It's 47 out of a hundred. So wow, that's cool. Like, holy cow. All right, so let's speed through these because now I think we pretty much hit the main, you know, hit of the box. So, uh, so yeah, let's just power through get through the rest of these so all right um base card base card sand fist of vengeance and then base cards and ensemble card all right so wow that's great though that conchu dude that's like we've gotten three or four autographs of conchu and all the boxes we've opened which is cool by us i mean we got oscar's autograph that was one we were really looking for but i was hoping for an ethan or a may as well but had it having that conchu and acetate is still cool. Like I, I'm not gonna be picky at this point. We got Oscar Isaac and Amit and Conchu, so you know what? That's more than I thought we were gonna get originally. Um, but really glad. I mean, that's why we kept buying boxes for a while was because we were we went through a whole like maybe 15 boxes with no autographs, and we were like, wow. And then just in like the last seven that we bought, we've gotten like four autographs. It's been awesome and again we've been buying our cards from steel city so <laughs> make sure you buy your cards from them because they've been lucky for us that's for sure we've had a lot of luck with them um, but we also got cool stuff from the gray malkin so if you're on whatnot check out the gray malkin uh, channel as well they got some awesome stuff and we bought some moon knight cards from them and we got a couple good cards in there like metal cards printing plate stuff like that and we have still yet to hit a second printing plate from any of the boxes we got so that just shows you how rare those cards are um Awesome. Chamber of the Gods and our base cards. Cool. Man, oh man. Another Conchu autograph. Just awesome. I love that character. He's one of my favorites in the show, that's for sure. I really like how they portray him in the show. And much like how he is in the comic, even. Okay, I saw a tease of what we're going to get in this pack. And that's pretty amazing that we're getting an autograph and a base card. Yeah, and a base card. Sorry for the tease. And a Midnight Blue Moon Knight. You are kidding me. Oh, God, there's some dings on these cards, though, dude. That's a, that's a shame. I mean, it would be a shame if I was selling these, but I'm not. Card 3 out of 49. So here's what's interesting about this one. So this card we have in Sky Blue also. So if we are able to find the shattered reflection of this and the bronze, then we can, so this is our first card that we're only two away from rainbowing. And how cool that it's a Moon Knight card. Um, and that's funny, the other day we got a, uh, we pulled a Mr. Knight in Ensemble in Midnight Blue. So this is great actually, I'm, I'm really excited we got that one. Uh, because like I said, we're now two cards away to rainbow that one. So maybe that's what we'll look for. We'll look for see if someone has a shattered reflection of it on eBay. And if they do, we'll just flat out buy it. And then we'll have to look for the, the bronze. But I mean, who knows if anyone finds you know some of these cards. I don't know how well this set sold. I know from us, we, we contributed greatly to this set uh, for sure. Maybe too much, some would say. Um, but still, like uh, I don't know how much everyone else contributed to make the set a success. So hopefully it was one. Because I really want a Werewolf by Night set now. 
Um, that show, uh, that you know, special was really, really good. And I did hear, if you watch Spidey Hits channel, I'm going to put a link below. He interviewed some people that work at Upper Deck. And, oh, that's a great Layla. Um, he, he knows some people that work at Upper Deck. So I'll put a link to the interview down below. He interviewed them, and they said that there's going to be a Marvel Phase 4 series trading cards coming out that is just focused on the Disney Plus shows from Phase 4, which means more Moon Knight cards and possibly Werewolf by Night. So if they don't give him his own set, at least we might get, you know, Werewolf by Night black and white cards and more Moon Knight cards in a shared Phase 4 set. So the second they announce those cards, I will pre-order some boxes and we will open them on this channel. Not that I love everything in Phase 4 on Disney+, Plus, but there's enough in there that I do like. And there's Moon Knight and Werewolf by Night, which I love. So I'm down to, uh, to you know, to give it a chance. All right, let's get these base cards out of the way because there's something in this pack. And this is a real acetate, not an, I mean, I guess the other one was too, but it was an autograph. So what level are we? Level one, which means we already have it, and it's Crowley, so that's fine. I think I, I have two extra of these now, so we'll just sleeve them before all the paint peels off, which has already started up there, um, and we'll uh, we'll trade it or give it to somebody. We'll, we'll see. We'll find it at home, that's for sure, because I imagine there's some people that do want to collect, you know, level ones or level twos or something, so if you didn't get Crowley, we have a couple. Just hit us up uh, either on here or on Instagram. All right, an ensemble card. Oh, hey, dang it. Ah, oh, so close. So freaking close. I think this is card 18. Yeah, this is card 18. Check around the truck. Mm, dang, I was really hoping for card 20. That would have made this box even more amazing. I mean, not that I need more than a Conchu autograph, but yeah, still, I mean, that was that was awesome. Uh, but I, I, God, I would, I would just love to naturally finish that insert set in sand. Uh, before having to go to eBay. I feel like that's throwing in the, the towel a little bit, but uh, that's all right. At this point, I, you know, it's, it'll be cheaper to do so. So, yeah. Um, and there's the, the base version of that card. Cool. And then some base cards. All right. So we're running a little bit longer in this one, but hey, we hit an autograph, so I had to freak out a little bit. What is that card? Okay. That might have just been a regular card. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we got that. We got another base. Sand parallel. Fist of Vengeance. Yes, and a Mr. Knight and a Conchu. Awesome. I think we had two of those back-to-back -back in, in the other box that we opened, too. That's funny. All right, behind the scenes shot of, you know, the I Remember Every Night scene where they're moving the sky. This is a, a tough card to get sometimes, but funny enough, in our last couple boxes... We've gotten these, so yeah, that's that's funny. And card 17, that's been the new one that's been hard for us to find uh, in order to complete sets, was card 17 and 84, I think. Um, all right, another Chamber of the Gods. That's a cool one. We've been getting that one a lot, too, lately. Um, obviously, everything is doubles and triples and quadruples now, so, um, so nothing really surprised us too much anymore, but still, um, it's just cool to see these cards. Like, I just love the cards in general. There's Big Pimpin'. Named by Gray Malkin. Um, and like I said, on the Spidey Hits interview, they also mentioned that they might work on X-Men 97. Every show that has been a success or that is a success for Disney Plus will get, you know, and for the movies, will get their own cards. So when he said that, it made me wonder if they're going to ever do an Ant-Man uh, card set or a, a Marvel's, the Marvel's card set. Or if they do, maybe they'll just do like 50 cards like they did with No Way Home. So I'm curious to see. But I would love, I still want uh, Werewolf by Night. I I don't know how much of a success that was, but I thought it was amazing. I would love a whole entire card set with black and white cards, uh, you know, and then maybe do color variants since they did a color version of the movie. You could make, you know, the cards in color and in black and white, which would be awesome. Um, all right, so we got that. We got Sand, our Fist of Vengeance, and Conchu. All right, last pack. So what we're missing... All right, we got an acetate. We got a... A traveler in sand though we didn't get a regular traveler and then we got the midnight blue so in the autograph so either this is going to be a a plain traveler of the night or it's going to be a um, sky blue card so i guess we'll find out all right last pack it's got to have something in it though most likely all right how wet it we got another base card back there another base card and oh it's gonna be 
What the fish? One finned wonder. All right. So we did not get a sky blue in this box, but I think that's because this autograph replaced it. And that does happen sometimes in these boxes uh, with the autographs, is that it will full on replace one of the potential four, you know, uh, cards, I guess, that you get, like the hits, the major hits. But getting that, getting the Midnight Blue with that card, with uh, Moon Knight, which is great. Like I said, now we're only two away. Um, well, no, I'm sorry. We're still, we're three away. Because we need the bronze. Oh, so I, I was wrong. We need the bronze. I can't add for anything. I forgot about the printing plate. So we need the printing plate and the bronze and uh, the, the Shattered Reflection. So, nope, we're not any closer. So whether it's that card or another card. The first card we get that we're two away, though, that's the one we're going to pursue. Um, but I'll still look online and see if I can find a Shattered Reflection of that one, just for fun, because um, that is a cool card. Uh, and then we got our other two hits. So, yeah, not bad at all. We got basically five there. And then I think we had a couple of mid. Yeah, so we got a mid one and another mid. So pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, seven. Like I said, this seems to be the new standard with some of the later boxes we've opened. In the beginning, there would be a couple times where it was just, you know, you got your four and that was it. Um, but now it seems like I'm starting to see more and more stuff, even though they're duplicates. Um, still, you're, I'm seeing at least, you know, five or six hits, sometimes seven in a box. So, but that's two sevens in a row. Pretty amazing. So thank you so much. See you in the future. Peace.